the Boeing 737 is one of the most dated airframes going around, and there have been consistent calls for Boeing to come up with something new. The 737 MAX, the latest member of the long-standing series, encountered design problems because Boeing attempted to push the limitations of a dated body. Now, however, well, there could be something else coming to the market known as the transsonic truss braced wing. What is this and what would it bring for potential customers? Do make sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, lots more analysis is on the way. The TTBW has recently undergone extensive testing at a NASA research facility, where the wings were optimized for a 52 meter or 170 foot wingspan. According to research, this allows for high speeds and higher flying. Fuel burn should therefore be reduced thanks to the updated technology. Boeing has been developing such a wing since the early 2010s, even before that, so it highlights just how much thought has really gone into this. Titled SFD, Sustainable Flight Demonstrator, this experimental aircraft has got many questioning if it will be the 737 replacement that so many people have longed for. The wing is long, but also slender in its overall look. It's braced by the trusses which help generate lift for the aircraft. From end to end, the folding wings will measure 170 feet. According to a release from 2019, the wing sweep angle, if you will, means that the truss can carry lift more efficiently. The press release also adds that the end result was a more integrated design that significantly improved the vehicular performance. A week ago, a sizable deal was announced. NASA said that it had selected Boeing to lead a campaign for a full-scale transonic truss brace wing demonstrator, a campaign that would involve the full development and flight testing. The pair will collaborate together to create this single aisle commercial aircraft slated for a first flight in 2028, with a potential entry into service sometime in the 2030s. It's a program that will likely cost well over a billion to complete with more potentially being added on, and there is a very long road still ahead. But the pair are excited by the future and what this announcement means for something that they've been working on now for well over a decade. Boeing's chief engineer and also the executive vice president of engineering Te test and technology said the SFD program has the potential to make a significant contribution towards a sustainable future. It represents an opportunity to design, build and fly a full scale experimental plane while solving novel technology problems. While not to be confirmed, renderings released by Boeing showcase two aircraft labelled as VS-1 and VS-2. Some speculation, which of course at this point is just rumours and is nothing firm or concrete, say that Boeing may look towards making this a family of aircraft in the single aisle market, potentially opening up further discussion regarding it being a 737 replacement. But the thing is, to be a 737 replacement, not only does it need to be marketed as one, but it will eventually need to fly with airlines and will such a thing ever actually fly well that is still massively up for debate and it's far too early to tell it will largely depend on the success of the test program and that sole demonstrator whether or not Boeing will move forward with such a configuration for their long-term aircraft However, what has to be mentioned is that the project is not a small one, with hundreds of millions to be invested and a full-scale demonstrator eventually being built and flown, you could definitely make the case that Boeing hopes such a said design will be effective and that they will be able to move forward with it as their future aircraft. Now, however, with the support of NASA and other key industry partners, Boeing will work towards getting this demonstrator into flight by 2028. From there, they'll be able to run the required tests in the air and also on the ground to determine if issues need ironing out, and on top of that, to determine if it would be an effective aircraft to eventually market and roll out more universally. As mentioned earlier in this video, Boeing has been working on such a design since the 2010s, and what we are seeing today is the culmination of all of those years of testing and studying. For the project, which will see NASA and Boeing join forces, NASA is expected to bring the technical expertise while supporting testing at various facilities to make it possible and on the side of US Boeing, while well, the aircraft manufacturer will be bringing its great resources and naturally manufacturing expertise to produce such a plane. 
Replacing the 737 has been highly discussed, and according to some within the industry, it is something that is required at some point. With the 737 MAX crisis that now we'd like to think is a chapter closed, many believe that simply bringing a new aircraft type in would have actually been a better solution than moving forward with the long process of recertifying the 737 MAX. The reality is that wasn't going to happen, and the series has, despite its many flaws, actually been a commercial success, and upon returning to the industry, has welcomed in hundreds upon hundreds of orders on a yearly basis, showing that demand is still strong and airlines still do require the services of such an aircraft. Now, however, as we make our way into the 2020s, which yes, is pretty scary to think, talk is already surrounding what will be next after the max, which will likely be in the 2030s. It's a question that so many have, but the answer is just not locked in. Innovating in the sector is a crucial factor, always looking towards what will be next and what will see you excel as an aircraft manufacturer. According to one industry expert detailed in a report by Leeham News and Analysis in 2021, Boeing has over recent years lost the it factor that maybe it once had, a period where we saw them consistently rolling out new technology that kept customers coming back. Could though the transsonic brace wing design be the answer to so many people's questions, not only to replace the 737 into the 2030s, but bring the innovation back to Boeing and cement them once more as a leading aircraft manufacturer? Let us know down below in the comments, and if this isn't the aircraft that you believe would be best suited to replace the 737, we'd very much like to hear your solution as well in the comment section. Surely you're under the assumption as well that Boeing would not be able to re-engine the 737 MAX once more, given all the complications experienced with doing such a thing now more than a decade ago, you would expect them to move forward with something totally different and radical. And we think a lot of people are under the agreement that that will be necessary for the plane maker. Thank you very much for your support and tuning into this video. Like we mentioned, any thoughts, you can drop them down below in the comments. Stay tuned for more analysis content coming to the channel very soon. And as always, a massive thank you for your continued support here on the channel. We're doing our very best to answer some of your burning questions while also diving a little deeper into analysis on current industry topics such as this very one with the Boeing transonic truss braced wing design. We appreciate it once more and we will see you next time.